there, my name is Claire and I'm a tutor in Cambly. Today you'll be learning natural and common ways to say thank you in English. I'm going to teach you 10 ways. So if you'd like to practice the th sound, then this is your chance. It's good to know what expression to say in return to someone that has done something nice for you and you'd like to show that you're grateful. So number one is thanks. We say thanks to people that we know, such as our family and friends. It's informal. Thank you is formal and more polite. And we say this to people that we don't know. We say thanks and thank you to accept and receive something. On the other hand, we say no thank you or no thanks if we want to refuse something. For example, someone might say, hey, would you like a coffee? You could reply with, no thank you, I've had three today. Or, no thanks, I've had three today. If you'd like to accept the coffee, you can say, yes thanks, that would be lovely. Or, yes thank you, that would be lovely. So if someone has done something nice for you, we can say thank you for your help. For more emphasis, we can say, I appreciate your help. To express more appreciation, you can add so much, very much, a lot, after thank you. Just a tip, be specific about what you're being thankful for. For example, thank you very much for the delicious meal. Or, I appreciate you being there for me. Or, thanks a lot for being the best mum or dad or brother or sister or partner. And thanks so much for your advice. Number four, cheers. Cheers is a common response and is more informal than thanks. It's quite friendly. So for example, someone might say, your coffee is in the kitchen and you can reply with cheers. This expression can also be used to celebrate someone or at an, an occasion or an event. And for example, we say cheers and touch glasses before we take a sip of wine. Number five is ta in the United Kingdom. Ta is sort of slang. I might say, I made some scones. Here, have one. And you can say ta. Number six is thank you for plus the ing form. For example, thank you for visiting me or thank you for your time today or thank you for wishing me luck on my first day of work. Number seven is thank you as a noun and we commonly use the word big when we're using thank you as a noun. For example, a big thank you to those who helped raise this money or I'd like to give thanks to those who helped raise this money. Right, number eight is replying to thank you. We can say, you're welcome, or no worries, if you're in Australia. Um, my pleasure, or no problem. Number nine is a sarcastic thank you. So say you're expecting a big plate of ice cream and you get one spoonful. You might say, thanks for nothing, or thanks a lot. So your tone of voice can change the meaning of the expression. Last but not least is number 10, a heartfelt thank you. Um, if someone has done something really nice for you or has given you a special gift, you can say, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. So I've given you 10 different examples of how you can say uh, thank you and when to use it. I hope you learned something today. Um, for those who are unfamiliar with Cambly, Cambly gives you instant access to friendly native English speakers like me. Um, you can take the English lessons anytime and anywhere from your laptop or your phone. So schedule your next lesson with me using the link below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.